Courtney Dominguez joins us right now, Payne Capital Senior Wealth Advisor. Courtney, great to have you. I did want to touch on what Grady was touching on there, this pension to spend a lot. You know, snowmobiles and related equipment, they don't come cheap. Um, yet that's a sign we saw uh, actually through the pandemic and now coming out of the pandemic. What, what's going on? Yeah, which I think the thing, the more that we see consumers going out and spending, the better that that is going to be for a continuing recovery. And especially as we get additional stimulus coming out, and that very well may happen again, a lot of that is going into spending. If you look at consumer spending data in January when the last stimulus came through, more people are going out and using that to put back into the economy. And especially like they were just talking about putting that into small businesses. I love the idea of, because those are some of the most, some of those that are hurting the most. Great thing for the general economy, however. Yeah, and you're talking about some of these numbers that are surprising, folks. If this continues and is given some added home with stimulus, whether, you know, people are for or against stimulus, I know it, it, it could be a hot political potato. That's just going to juice it more, right? That's exactly right. Yeah, and if you look at the data, every time that the stimulus happens, we're seeing consumer spending go up. And what consumers did really at the beginning of um, the pandemic when this all started is they did a very good job of saving money and using some of that money to pay down debt. And so they're actually in a much better position now as we go forward. And as we see unemployment numbers come down, if additional stimulus comes in, people spending more money, again, that, that's only going to lead to this trickle down effect. Of it's going to improve businesses down the line, which isn't going to increase earnings, increase companies' bottom lines. And that's exactly what we want to see. You know, Courtney, knowing you were coming, I was curious to get your take on this whole Bitcoin craze uh, with Tesla, you know, uh, one and a half billion to allow folks to buy, um, you know, Tesla cars with it, uh, you know, BNY Mellon, a host of other potential banks down the road, maybe even an Apple. Uh, what is going on there? Because uh, the, the, with the sell-off notwithstanding, this is still a nearly $50,000 investment. What the heck? Yeah, Bitcoin's always been a tough one for me because, uh, I mean, up until recently, so like with some of this Tesla news, you can't really exchange it for the value of something else. It doesn't pay you any dividends. So you're really just hoping that somebody else is going to pay a higher price for it, it than you in the future. But as we see companies like Tesla coming out and saying that they're going to actually start to accept things like Bitcoin, that does actually start to make it a little bit more viable. Um, again, I think it's, it's still very volatile. It's still a little bit more speculative than I prefer. But I think that trend very well might be happening if you see more of these companies coming out and saying things like that. Courtney Dominguez, great seeing you at Penn Capital Senior Wealth Advisor. Good read of all things economic and market related. Uh